familia. It is Alex. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Welcome to the 12 Pans of Christmas only update of this project pen. I have my 12 products sitting right in front of me. Some of them have been slapped on my face just to add another tally to my total but i'm here to update you guys as usual you guys it is the middle of the day and oh my neighbors are very quiet for most of the time they're rarely home and of course today my neighbor as i'm looking outside these windows has a full house is putting up new pillars up in his porch is running his ride lawn mower has his dog up in the front leo's sister is sitting up front she loves to bark so you might hear her in the background i don't know so i'm just warning you guys because i can never catch a break anyway you're here to hear about this update so let's get right into it but first if you're new to my channel welcome to the familia my name is alejandra i'm an eyeshadow enthusiast with the dash project pan that is something that interests you subscribe join us and now without further ado let's get on with this update Alrighty, folks so let's get on to it i have my tally sitting right here so if you're seeing me look this way it's because i'm trying to see how many times i've used every product so I have different goals for each of these products but overall you guys know the drill if you didn't see my intro I would highly recommend check that out I'll put it in the i cards so you guys can see where I'm coming from why I chose the products why I'm choosing the tallying system instead of using up or hitting pan so on and so forth so let's get into it all right in no particular let's start out with the first product this was the Tarte buff blush my goal was to use this at least six times you guys so this is the blush right here as you guys can see I'm actually wearing down the pattern I'm proud of myself for this one this is a beautiful blush I love it I'm actually not wearing it today I'm normally mixing it up with my pan those uh face my, my face palette or I'm using it on its own because it is such a nice neutral blush you can see it right there it's very subtle I really like this one my goal is to use this six times and as I mentioned to you guys in the intro, if I meet the six times, I'm going to bump it up to 12 times because it's 12 pans of Christmas. Some things I'll be able to hit 12 pans, 12 times, and some things I'll barely get to six uses. So that's why I decided let's start out with six. And if I meet the six, let's move on to 12. I'm happy to say I've used this blush 10 times, you guys, 10 times. So I've only got to use it two more times for the finale to at least meet my major goal. 12 pans of Christmas, 12 times. I pretty sure that I can definitely do it I can actually now that I'm lifting this up into my face because I really don't do this often until I film I could see that the word tart is wearing out right down there you could barely see that it says tart I am very proud of myself for that look at you maybe I'll pan this one next year I don't know this is a beautiful beautiful blush so that's the first product I'm doing exceptionally well with that one let's move on to my Revlon daylight dreamer highlighter so this one again I was supposed to use it six times you guys can see I'm starting to wear down the pattern on this this is a beautiful beautiful highlighter absolutely love it there's nothing wrong with this highlighter I would highly recommend it the more you use it the softer it gets the more pigmented and more of a glow within it looks on your face so again I wanted to use it six times currently I've used this seven times so that means I I think I can get to my 12 uses so what is that I need another five more uses and then I should be able to meet my goal in this one so I think this one will also be a, um, a goal met at the end of the finale now let's move on to the eyeshadow portion so we, I'm just going in order of what I have this is Tarte Fire Dancer this is a chrome paint by Tarte as you guys can see it right here I've only used this one time one time you guys <sighs> I know I just I have so many things going on on my eyeballs that I'm trying to incorporate everything that I possibly can but you can see that it is used I did use it in a nice way and I love this one on the lower lash line because it doesn't look as red it gives more of an orangey red which is kind of nice and I appreciate it. it doesn't make me look like I have red eyes or a pink eye on my eyeballs so I really enjoy it. I have to use this five more times at least to get to the six uses ten more time oh no wait 12 11 more times to get to 12 uses i think i'm only going to use this six times to be honest with you guys and not get to the 12. let's move on to the other one that i'm not doing so great with this is the clinique strike uh strike it rich single shadow so with this one again i wanted to use this six times how do i open this sucker up here we go i've only used it one time you guys one time and i don't know why look at that prettiness I don't know why I really should get more use out of this one this is so pretty I don't know why uh, yeah you know you know how it goes I have so many eyeshadows that I'm trying to just work around them so I gotta use this five more times in order to hit my goal 
I'm going to I'm going to make it work. I'm going to make that one work. Maybe I'll put these two in a bunch of looks going forward. My Kat Von D single in static age. Again, six times. This was brand new when I brought it in and you can kind of see that I've started to use the center. I've used this one two times. I really like this one on the lower lash line or as an inner corner highlight, which is what I'm wearing it today. Today's my second day of wearing it. And I tried it as an inner corner highlight with this look and I'm kind of digging it. So it's a very, very stark silver so it's i have to be very careful not to use too much of it because then it'll look too gray on my inner corners you guys can see like i can see i gotta wet it so basically i've only used this two times four more times and i'll hit my goal in it that one's a hard one to incorporate because i'm i tend to do a lot more gold next up is iggy which is her sister this one i had used a few times in the beginning and now you guys can see that i've used this one this one i've used three times this one i have it on my lower lash line today i mainly used it as a lower lash line i used it as a liner twice i believe and a lower lash line so this one's getting a little bit more use out of it because it's just I like it more I just like this color more I don't know the silver is a lot harder for me to incorporate and that's why I force myself to but look at that it's so pigmented and so pretty so ah what do I got three more uses let's see if I can get a little bit more than that now let's move on to my Mac uh, lip liner in cherry you guys can see right there that I've used this I'm wearing it today on the lips this is only two times I've used it two times you guys red is harder for me to wear as you guys know because of the fact that it gets all over my teeth today I did something a little bit different which is helping know that finger trick I've done for so long four more times for this sucker I gotta I gotta sharpen this up because it, it still works great I've had this I'm not even gonna tell you how long I've had this one but it is super creamy, so much more creamier than some of my newer pencils, so it's worth it for me. My Marc Jacobs Green Liner, you guys. This one, by far, I'm having the most fun with. So here it is right there. I've used this as a top wing liner. I've used this on my lower lash line, and the majority of it has been used in my waterline. I love this for a pop of color. I've used this seven times so far, seven times. And it's been a lot of fun to use this shade. It just looks so pretty with so many looks. Like I could put it on today if I wanted to, but I just left it alone. I could have had eight years uses today but no thank you this is easier for me to use on my waterline because I could just pop it on if I want like something different something a pop of color or whatever so I like this I got five more uses to hit now that I hit six I got five more uses to hit the 12 uses which I'm pretty sure I will get there my Rita Miss Rita okay this is my lipstick from NARS my goal was to use it six times I only used it two times this one by far out of all of my products for this project pan will be the hardest to even get to six I'm not even going to exaggerate I'm not even going to try to lie I'm not going to even try to say oh I think I could get to six no I'm going to be pulling teeth jumping through hurdles trying to figure out ways to incorporate this because I'll tell you the reason why not just because it's a red lipstick, but as you guys can clearly see, I love to go all out on my eyes. And it's very hard for me to incorporate a red lip with a very bold eye. Like today, it might be clashing to some people. Some people might not, might not appreciate the look, but I kind of incorporated since I had a little bit of red here and I figured, why not? I might as well just give it a shot. So that's what I did. And that's the main reasons why this is gonna be a little bit harder for me to use. If I were a type of person that just did wing liner and mascara, and a bold lip then I could definitely get 12 uses out of that but because I am not it's gonna be a lot harder for me to get four more uses out of that I will be lucky enough to even get four uses in total out of this I'm just gonna warn you right now ladies and gentlemen so don't even expect me to get to six of that my urban decay midnight cowboy liner this surprised me and I think it's because I forgot that it was in this project pan I'm not even gonna lie to you so this one I was supposed to use the sixth time I've only used it once and only once this should be easy for me to use this should be easy for me to just wing it should be easy for me to top it I have another glitter that I topped on this I genuinely think it's because I forgot that it's in this project pan not because it's hard for me to use I'm gonna I'm gonna make myself use this every single day to hit the 12 marks I want to get to 12 marks so I need to use this 11 more times and I think I definitely can do that I'm gonna force myself to use this and get like into a habit to use it up 
so I can get to my 12 uses. Second to last one is my sh Fresh Sugar Rosé. Now, as you guys can see for the tally, I have used a ton of this. This was brand new, and this is all that I have left, you guys. This sits on my nightstand. I really like it. Let me put them on now. Let's see how it looks. Oh, my goodness. Now I'm going to get lipstick all over my teeth. It just suits really nice. It it gave it a nice glow to my lip. I love using this. I just plop it on at night before I go to bed. If I'm sitting down on my bed or I'm here editing, I'll put it on. So it's really easy for me to use. This is no problem. And I'm pretty sure I'm trying to check my teeth. I'm pretty sure I will finish this up. Last but not least is my Makeup Geek Immortal Liner. My goal was to hit side pan and I'm not bad. Not, not getting, look, can you guys see that? It's actually doing a very, very good job, Alex. Like, I'm very proud of myself for that. I've been trying to use this often and as much as possible. I'm so out of touch with gel liner, I have to get back into the rhythm of it, that my wings keep going like this. Uh, one droops, one is high up, one wants to say hi, one wants to stay indoors, uh, one's thicker, one's lighter. So I gotta, I gotta keep practicing with it. Like today, I just didn't want to fuss with it, but most of the time I have been wearing wing liner. So this, I might be able to hit top, the top portion glass, but not the bottom because it's pretty thick on the wall. So, but I am getting more use out of it, which makes me very, very proud. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I think I survived this update without having too much of a commotion going on. Most of the people have left. I still see a car out there and I still hear the lawnmower going. So thank you guys so much for watching. Anybody that had mentioned to me that they were participating in this project pan will be linked down below. So check out my description box for anybody else that is doing this project pan that I remembered to link down in the description box. I'll put my videos right over here for your enjoyment. Until then, bye guys.